Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and this is a Bomalite Mini Skid Steer. Now in yesterday's video, and actually for a little while, I've been teasing the idea that I'm going to make some major changes to the types of equipment I use on this YouTube channel. And this, this Mini Skid Steer, is part of that. I've actually been talking to Bomalite about these Mini Skid Steers well, since last year at the Equip Expo, so almost a full year, and we started talking in January about the possibility of me getting one of these here to demonstrate on the YouTube channel. And it's finally here, and I couldn't be more excited. I've actually got to run one of these before. Seems like a great machine, but I've got big plans for this, what I want to do with it, and I also want to compare it to a compact tractor in terms of price, and functionality and what you can do with a machine like this pros and cons versus a, a tractor like the one I have so first thing I need to do is get this unboxed find out you know if it needs any kind of a setup and then we'll test it out so I went ahead and got it out of the crate we skipped all that because unboxings are boring now what I want to do is jump on this and start moving some dirt and we're gonna do that in just a minute but first I think I owe it to the viewer to give full transparency on why this machine is here. So I've been talking to Bomalite for a long time about getting one of these machines and they've sent it to me, but I do not own this machine and I did not pay for it. Also, they are not paying me to talk about it. It's a very straightforward arrangement. I have a consignment. They own the machine. It is here for me to use and make videos about. I also made a video last week as a response to Neil's video talking about integrity with sponsorships. And because this was provided to me, I have access to it. So it's going to get favorable treatment. I'm excited about it. It's here. You know, it's going to be shown on my channel as opposed to other brands. But my job as a content creator is to provide information and education to the viewer and that's what I'm going to try to do in the most impartial way I can. If the machine's not capable of something, I'll tell you. If it breaks, I'll tell you. Other than that, we're just going to have a lot of fun with it. All right, so we've got a book here. I think this is a catalog of other equipment. And then this is our, actually our owner's manual. We've got a separate manual for the Kubota diesel engine. We've got the key in here. So I'm probably going to sit down and read all of this at least skim through it for the next 30 minutes make sure i know what's going on i have one more note on why this is here and that is that there's about 40 brands 40 companies that manufacture miniature skid steers i did not email a single company looking for one of these i only reached out to bombalite and why is that it's not necessarily because i've compared them all and i know what's the best but I have an existing relationship with Bombalite where I've used a lot of their equipment. I've ran one of their flail mowers, stump grinder, and the trencher. And everything I've got from them was top of the line. As far as, like that flail mower, there's all different quality and caliber of flail mowers out there. You can get a cheap one that maybe is good enough, but theirs is like a tank. It was like a forestry mulcher almost in a flail mower so everything i've got from them was top of the line and my experience dealing with their company has been great and whenever i have one of their products they're not trying to tell me what to say anything like that i've just been really happy with the service i've got all right i normally drive my equipment to my fuel tank got a 50 gallon with an electric pump but for this first one we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. And I won't spill a drop, I'm that good. I think this holds 10 gallons, because it says 40 liters. And then it's got an upper and a lower sight glass for the fuel gauge. So I just put about two gallons in this. That'll get us enough to drive up there and fill it. Next step it says is to check the engine oil. For that, you lift this up and this is a hydraulic fluid cooling unit. 
Okay, and then we've got a pin right here. I believe it goes in here just to hold the hood up. She's a beaut, Clark. You guys want to see the engine? So I went through the owner's manual, checked all the fluid levels, read all the safety alerts. I think I'm ready to start it up. But I'm a little bit nervous with an expensive machine that I don't know much about. So I brought in world-renowned mini skid steer expert Rex. And uh, he'll at least be here to call the ambulance if I hurt myself. Challenge number one, start it up and drive it off this pallet. That's a bump. Hey Rex, is that going anywhere? That ain't going nowhere. So if you've driven any skid steer before, any modern skid steer, this will be completely intuitive to you. No one's going to have to tell you how to use it. This is how you turn, this is how you go forward and backward, and you're up, down, curl, and dump. It's completely, if you're familiar with running equipment, this is intuitive. And the throttle is right here, and we've got a parking brake here, headlights here, then we've got the RPM gauge, the hour meter, and a hydraulic pressure gauge right here. We'll get this sucker filled up and then go move some dirt. So that was just one bucket, right? But I was at the Equip Expo last week and I was talking to the Bombalite guy. I said, how fast does this thing move? And he said that they focused on safety and made the speeds fairly slow at like five kilometers, which is like three miles per hour. He said some people complained that maybe that wasn't fast enough. So they were evaluating that speed. It about throw me off. I know if I was going like you know, down the road, that's pretty slow, but to be standing on the back of that, I felt pretty, like that was pretty quick, actually. So this is not meant to be an in-depth review. I'm really just getting familiar with the machine myself. Once I've got some hours on it, then you'll get that review video. But I guess we can go over some basic specs, and if you want more information, you can always get that at a local dealer or on the Bombalite website. But this machine weighs at about 3,000 pounds without the weight kit. The extra weights add about 300 pounds and they go inside of the track area. And that's basically just to give you ballast. Now, lift capacity on a machine like this is rated much differently than it is on a tractor. On a tractor, they're telling you how much you can lift, and that's really a function of the hydraulic strength. On a machine like this, the hydraulics can lift a lot more than the machine can safely carry. So what the manufacturers tell you is a recommended operating capacity. 
which is around a thousand pounds on this machine. Now, without the bucket, right at the pins, this machine has 4,250 pounds of breakout force. The hydraulics are strong, and that's the same way it works basically with this traditional skid loader too. But where you run into problems with a small machine like this that isn't as heavy is if you lift its maximum amount or you use all that breakout force, you're just going to lift the back of the machine up. So they're trying to provide you with a number that tells you what you should safely carry. I talked Rex into getting on the controls. He was afraid to at first, you know, hesitant, didn't want to mess up a new machine, but said, you know as much about it as I do at this point. As an experienced operator on this, you're probably doing multiple functions at once. In my full-size skid loader, I'm driving while I lift the bucket and turning it while I close the grapple and whatever it is. I tried doing it the same way on this. I did not feel comfortable as a new guy that I could be completely smooth with both controls at the same time because it you're balancing yourself and moving the controls. But I told Rex starting out, I'd be a one control at a time guy. Now today, I'm only demonstrating the machine with the bucket, but my intention is to show you a wide range of attachments on the front of this machine. They're very versatile, and they've got pretty high hydraulic flow for the size of the machine, whereas my tractor has about 5.3 gallons, I believe, of hydraulic flow per minute, and the skid loader is closer to 30 this machine is 11.4 and that allows you to use a small trencher or an auger or a brush cutter or quite a few different things. Vomalite actually makes a wide range of attachments themselves in addition to all the aftermarket stuff you can get. A stump grinder is one I would definitely be interested in checking out. What'd you think of it? Definitely different. I think it's fun. I think it, if I had a little bit of time to mess with the controls, I'd probably get a little more comfortable, but it made me a little nervous. So the advantages to a machine like this are particularly good for someone who's doing residential landscaping, where you can carry a thousand pounds of bricks into someone's backyard through a narrow gate, that sort of thing. If it's in really tight spaces, you can haul this machine plus multiple attachments, plus your materials for the job on one trailer where either of my other two machines would take up the entire trailer and then you have to come back for materials. But like anything else, you won't just jump on it and feel like you've mastered it right away. And my job in taking this machine is to try to evaluate for myself and maybe provide insight for you guys about how this compares to those other machines for different tasks. And I'm planning to use it a lot for firewood. But I don't, I'm just learning about the machine. We'll have more videos to come. But I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.